Hello friends. So in this tutorial, we will discuss about uh, the SolidWorks. So today we are going to start the 3D modeling. That is the part modeling. So just uh, switch from 2D to 3D. So let's begin this tutorial. First, go to the part. Now once you come inside the part, just uh, first change the unit to MMGS. Now this is there is a features. So features is the command which is used for 3D modeling. So, so there are several uh, commands are there. First is the extrude boss command. This is the revolve boss command. So swing, lofted, boundary, extrude cut, pole wizard, revolve cut. Sweeped, lock, boundary, fillet, linear, weave, drop, shell, mirror, insert, wrap, and uh, inside the reference geometry there is a plane, axis, and a coordinate system and point, and inside the curve there is a curve through x, y, z plane, point, and next one the helix and spiral. So we will discuss all the command one by one. So first, to start with the extrude uh, boss or base command. So let's see how this is true or boss this command works so far select this extrude boss now it is asking us to choose the plane on which plane you want to create a 3d suppose i'll choose the front plane now go to a sketch and uh, suppose make a rectangle to the rectangle uh, being height is 50 and width 100 just uh, exit stage now after exit stage you directly jump into the extrude boss this command so in this command the plane is automatically selected and uh, there is a one option that is a direction in which direction you want to extrude this uh, 2D object suppose if I want to extrude this object in reverse direction just click on direction here it will extrude in the reverse direction so there is a several options things like blind up to us, vertex up to surface offset from surface up to middle up to body mid, mid plane so we will see one by one so first the blind so it is uh, asking us about the distance of this uh, 2d sketch how, means how much distance you want to extrude so suppose 10 mm if you want to increase it's increases 20 mm so you can see here by if i am increasing the distance this the thickness will be increases so there is one option that is called the draft so what is draft so see let's click on the draft now here asking us to uh, provide the degree and uh, you should provide the degree here so the degree suppose I increase the degree so you see in this model that when I am increasing the degree so the draft is taking place in the inward direction if you want to draft in the outward direction just click here the draft outward option so once you click here this model See here the draft in is in outward direction suppose uh, i don't want draft just uh, uncheck it and click on ok so once you click on ok you see you create a 3d model again go to boss extrude by right clicking just edit features so there is another option that is direction 2 so let's see what is the direction 2 go to the direction 2 so this is the direction so in one direction we have given the thickness if we want to give the thickness in another direction also by different or by variable length so we can provide the length from here suppose uh, I just want to extrude uh, only 10 mm in, in other direction so just provide the direction if we, you want to pro give the log you can also provide sorry if you want to pro uh, give the draft so you can also give the draft uh, 
uh, same like as the like I told you in the direction one. So again, you see, and there is option draft. Just click on the draft and just provide bring the angle. Either you can provide the draft in or in inward direction, or it may be the outward direction. So I just leave this draft. Now click OK. So by this way, you can produce the 3D model and you can extrude. That is the provide the thickness in both the direction. Again, one more features. Just to go to the sketch counter. So this feature is not available here. Now click on OK. So like this way, this 3D model is produced, and we can use the extrude based. So again, create one new sketch. So first, delete this. There is one more command inside the extrude page. Let's see. So we do one plane and we say rectangle. Just click on OK, exit stage, and uh, provide the thickness. And one external command that is the thin features. As you see, there is a thin features command. Just click on the thin features. So in the thin features, that uh, here asking us to provide the thickness. So this is the 10 mm thickness. If we increase the thickness, so this uh, thickness also will be just the key. So like this, this will increase. So suppose uh, I'll make it 10 mm. Now inside this thin feature, just uh, one direction, mid plane and two directions. So one direction that is uh, that means the thickness and providing in the one direction. Suppose this is my plane, this is my sketch, and only in uh, outward direction the thickness is provided. If I, if I want to provide a thickness in inward direction, just reverse the direction from here from this command. And uh, again, go for the mid plane. So this sketch is, is in the mid, and uh, the thickness which I am giving here, so it will distribute equally 50% on left, 50% on right. Let's see, it will be the thickness 20 mm. So here 20 mm, uh, here 10 mm, here 10 mm. This total is the 20 mm. Now next feature is the two direction. So two direction that means. Two thickness we have to provide here. One is the 20 mm, that is outward, and there is a 1 mm which is in the inward. So if we increase the suppose 10 mm and increase the direction in inward, look here. Suppose I make it 15. So the inward thickness is 15 mm and outward thickness is 10 mm. That means the total thickness. Is 25 mm. So like this, this is the two direction thin features. So again, go to the one direction, and uh, so like this, you can use the thin features command. Again, select one plane, go to a sketch, and uh, select a line.
click on ok now here multimetry is created so let's exit the sketch and uh, go to features choose extrude ball space now here just provide the thickness suppose thickness is 70 mm click on ok now see again go to the boss extrude and edit features now there is an option here that is the up uh, so for saying all this command let's create one another stage just choose the this page and uh, go to normal so we can easily draw the geometry by doing normal so you can also go view orientation and make it normal from here now go to select no, go to sketch now click on circle 40 ok now exit sketch now go to features now next is the extrude cut go to extrude cut now here you see there is a blind that I already told you in the extrude boss just providing that distance this will look so thus providing the distance it will cut this 3d geometry so again go to cut extrude edit features now instead of blinding I will choose through all once I will choose through all so it will cut this geometry means the entire geometry is cut look here so by this we can use the through all next one is the through all both sides if from this sketch uh, in both sides there will be the model so by using this through all both I can cut in a single sketch or next is the up to next once I select up to next just we have to select the age once I selected the age it will cut up to that age next is the up to the surface just go to up to the surface now select surface on which surface up to which surface you want to cut suppose I want to cut uh, up to this surface so let's see so only up to this surface this sketch is cut this 3d model now again go to the cut extrude command edit features and uh, see the mid plane mid plane is nothing but uh, from the both side it will cut in equal distance suppose 50 50 percent cut in both the sides suppose if I want to increase the length so in both sides this length will be increased so this is all about the middle plane now we have seen the extrude base pair extrude boss command or extrude cut command so let's see how this revolve base or boss commands we can use in this solid work so again First delete it, delete, ok, now again go to the sketch, edit sketch, now go to normal, so suppose this sketch and I just want to revolve this sketch about this axis, so again edit sketch, now choose revolve base and boss command and here asking about to, to select the geometry suppose I will select the geometry now it is asking about the axis of revolution so suppose I just want to choose this line will be my axis of revolution and here there is a direction one inside that that is a blind up to the vertex and up to the surface and the mid plane so let's see first blind and it is asking us to how much degree you want to revolve so suppose uh, 360 degree 
if you want to rotate up to 270 degree or 270 degree so let's uh, ok so like this you can use the revolve command so revolve command means some geometry you have to make and uh, provide one axis line and about that axis you have to rotate this geometry to made a 3d model so again go to the revolve edit feature in speed of 270 provide 360 degree angle then ok so like this you can make a 3d profile by using a revolve box space now next go to the revolve edit features now there is a direction 2 which is also asking us a degree so it is not working here so this is all about the revolve command that's all for today next command we will see in the later tutorial thank you